Good morning. Today is the first day of school, but we're doing it online. So not that much of a difference, but I still have to get my mind prepared for the fact that I am going to have to study. During the gap semester, I took the time off to do some like soul searching. <laughs> Had some time to work, some stuff for you to prepare for the exchange program. <laughs> Plan out like my career path. I also dated, met a lot of new people, nothing like like spectacular but I learned a lot after a long hiatus of nine months I am back to student mode this is my schedule I will die if I don't drink coffee in the morning a common question that I've been getting in my DMs Why did you choose to study political science? So I'm a political science major I'm Yuan I'm like a third culture kid and I'm trying to get into law school. I did MUN junior year and senior year of my high school years and senior year I was the vice president. I also really liked the debating aspect of it but I also just really liked studying about these international issues. And then the second reason is because I've been moving around growing up and that made me truly an international minded person. <laughs> I also think it was just kind of like an academic pursuit rather than a means to achieve like a certain career or like a dream job but recently I kind of figured out what I want to do after graduation um your girl's trying to get into law school those are just my tentative plans here we are on blackboard once again <gasps> I'm so tired. I can't believe I'm doing school again. I can't believe this is another online semester. <sighs> I'm done with my first class. I kind of forgot how draining these online classes are because you just sit there in front of your laptop because like the camera's on, you have to be like present and not sleeping. We just read like the syllabus together today. It is 10.09 right now. My next class is at 12. I'm going to take a power nap. <laughs> But the thing is, um, Zoom time here. So. <laughs> I have a question. You said that the presentations would start from the third week. So I was wondering when we can start to sign up for the presentation topics. I will be uploading the list sometime today. Write your name on the slot like. Oh, this is a new angle. <laughs> I am about to have my 2 p.m. class. Everyone has no problem. If you are having any problem, technical problem, locational problem, attend the class every time. All right, I'm gonna leave. <laughs> <laughs> 30 minutes into class, he just leaves. Outside in my apartment complex, they are sanitizing things right now. I don't know where that sound is coming from right now, but it is quite noisy. I will be going to a Starbucks to study. I can deal with like cafe white noise, but I can't deal with whatever like lawnmower sound that is. <laughs> Good morning! Today is 
Thursday. Today is the second day of classes. I have four classes back to back. I had a good night's sleep, a good breakfast. I had coffee. I'm feeling energized. I am ready. I'm good to go. Right now, I have my first 10.30 a.m. class. I like to have slow mornings because I know that the rest of the day, I'm going to be really focused, productive, and it can get kind of hectic sometimes. So I like to just unwind, take things really slowly in the morning. Our peaceful morning is over. I have to take some classes, so let's move to my desk. Start the day. We had to submit a introductory writing assignment. Now I have my next class in 15 minutes at 12 p.m. Since I have so much workload throughout this course, I think it's good that I'm starting all my readings beforehand because I don't know what's gonna happen in the middle of the semester. You know, I might have a breakdown. I use the app called My Homework. I swear by this app and I haven't found any better alternative to keep track of my schoolwork and deadlines. So I really recommend this app. So this is what I use for just my schoolwork, but then for my to-do list, I just use the good old notes app. So I do a lot of organizing for my schedule because I'm busy and I have a lot of work to do. turning on your camera but usually <laughs> I have realized that I cannot be doing eight classes this semester. So I'm dropping this class this whole week. I'm gonna be really busy. I have 150 to 200 pages of reading per week. As motivated as I am, as ambitious as I am to get these grades, like I'm not sure if I can handle all of that workload. I'm probably gonna edit and then I will start my reading. Today is Friday. I am going to school right now. The reason why I'm going to school is because I have group work because our presentation is due in two weeks, so I have to meet with them today. Okay, let's go. I'm wearing a backpack. This makes me feel like such a student. So after classes, I went to pick up my passport and now I just finished getting ready for dinner. So if you watched my previous vlog, you will know that I am working with Didi Dubo right now. I absolutely love them. The product that I wanted to introduce to you today is this ring. It is so pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. The band is crystals outlined with rose gold. I think rose gold complements every type of skin tone and it just looks really luxurious. All of their products are so beautiful, especially the ones that I picked out. 
So if you want to check out this ring or any other DD Dubo products, I will leave their link in the description box below. And I will also give you my code, which is Julie15 for a 15% off on your order. And it's also not very bold, perfect for everyday wear. And because rose gold is so versatile, I can match it with gold or silver, maybe to match crystals on my ring. Maybe I'll go for these earrings. Okay, so if I do these earrings and then take the necklace off and then just do this, perfect. So I'm gonna head out now. I'm gonna go get some dinner. I'm gonna get some wine. Let's go after I take this off. <laughs> Bracket